Hey everybody, I'm Devin. And I'm Evan. And we're here at Gigi's Bubble Tea. Here on Court Street in Athens, Ohio. And thanks to Maddie Stevens, who tweeted us that she wanted us to come check it out and see what we thought. So that's where we're heading. Come join us. Hey, Devin. What? I have some really big news for you. What is it? Okay. This morning when I woke up, I found out that Chris Hansen accepted my Facebook friend request. That's pretty big. You know who Chris Hansen is? Chris Hansen from To Catch a Predator. Can I get you a glass of milk to go along with those cookies? Sure. Catch a predator from Dateline. He's one of my favorite journalists, so that was really exciting. I love Facebook because you can be friends with anyone. Mm-hmm. Same well, with Twitter. As long as they accept you. As long as they accept you. As long as they accept you. So, yeah, so hey, Chris, if you're watching this, B-list. now that we're Facebook friends, I just want to say I. He's so good at what he does, though. Catch her. She's no. a predator. I am not. <laughs> Tapioca balls, Devin. Look at him working that straw, Devin. They're all gone now. Does your ice get lodged up it too? No. No. The ice is not made for the straw. Excuse me. So Gigi's is a fun place to be. It's yeah. a good environment. Had you been here before? No. I've never. never been here either, so yeah. I've always wanted to go in and this gave us a reason to come. So. Yeah, and there's cool colors on the walls. Yes. Yeah. Um, Good music playing. You know what I thought was interesting? I saw this poster on the wall here. And Devin, do you know, before you came here, did you know what these little tapioca balls are made out of? I have no idea. I had bubble tea before, but I had never found out what they were made out of. Yeah, like I I never really thought of like what are they made out of. They are made out of Asian sweet potatoes. Would you have ever guessed that? Never. Did they taste like potatoes? No, No? nothing like potatoes. They're chewy. That's probably good. I learned. Jello. Yeah. Never would have thought potatoes. But. Little sweet potatoes. Hello, potatoes. Hi. <laughs> and they also serve waffles. Yes. Oddly <laughs> enough. Like, I never would have thought of pairing that or even, like, craving a waffle. But every time I walk by and I see that sign, now serving waffles. It really makes me want waffles. I really do kind of want some waffles. But they're thirteen fifty. That's... They're three fifty. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a dollar sign. Oh. Oh, that'd be some gourmet waffles. I was going to say, what's in those Dude. waffles? <laughs> lots and lots of tapioca balls. <laughs> I have a new obsession with hummus. Yeah? I don't, I've never had it before like this year. Now every time I go to the grocery store, it's the first thing I get. I would say hummus is kind of a food trend. Kind of, yeah. The cool people eat hummus. Do you eat hummus? I love hummus. Oh. Maybe the cool people don't eat hummus. <laughs> But I guess they're like foods from mm. other countries and other cultures that kind of like make its way into our culture and then have a rise in popularity, you know? Yeah. Hummus, bubble tea, Greek yogurt. What are your favorite foods? Tweet us! Tweet, 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 tweet. The confusion comes with where you put the straw. Like, or do you peel the whole top off? That's what I was about to do. But my just answer peel it is off. no. You just see the straw is sharp, so. As for easy puncturing. Okay, he spilled it all over my notebook. I'm sorry. It's good, Devin. It's really good. Please notice how I got mine in without any problems. Yours is thicker. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I need to put some claws on my hips. A man on my hips. That will hold me tighter than my Darion jeans. Yeah. Drink in my cup. I can't last with your point.